All right, guys. Now, I did a video a couple of days ago uh, about how to stay safe in the Philippines. Now, this one is um, how to get, get into danger. So, uh, um, this is a video I did in Bacolon uh, about, uh, I think it was a year or so ago. I'm not sure now, but um, anyway, I was walking through the square and these um, two pros come up to me. And um, normally, I'd just walk uh, straight through, but... I'll uh, make a confession. I'll, I wanted to get uh, some uh, footage, some uh, some sort of uh, different footage, um, a controversial footage, or whatever you want to call it. And uh, I did. It's been a very successful uh, viewed video. Uh, I think over forty thousand people have looked at it. So, um, as Ms. Mrs. Hammond just said, it's my signature video. <laughs> and uh, anyway, um, Jeff P is a uh, subscriber. I think uh, Jeff P is from uh, United States, but he. Uh, pointed out that um, the one on the left, the one on the yellow top, um, she was trying to uh, pickpocket me. Uh, that's right. He, he basically said, why don't you do a video on pickpocketing? And uh, I said, oh, I did, did one of those. And I, I showed him the link. And he said, okay, uh, where well, this chick here actually had her hand in my pocket trying to pull the money out. I grabbed her hand. She had the hand around the money and my credit card. But uh, luckily, I got, got her hand out. Of the pocket but he uh, said this one here was trying to um, pickpocket me as well and I, I looked at this video a couple of times in the past and I never never noticed it before but he's right on the money and you watch it here so this is just to warn you to be careful of uh, these two two people or more uh, one trying to put you off while the other one uh, comes around uh, behind you or alongside of you and tries to pickpocket you or you know, steal your, your uh, camera or, you know, whatever whatever you got. Your ha handbag if, if you're a woman or whatever. So here we go. Just watch this, guys. Just watch the one on the left. See her going around? See that? She was going around to my pocket and I turned right, turned way around. Uh... As I could sense, she was coming uh, coming towards my side, and she was looking in my pocket, right? So, look, she was looking to go in to my pocket. So, uh, now something else she does here that uh, I noticed. See that? She's looking. She was biting her fingernails. She's looking in that direction. So. What I suspect is there's a um, uh, a ringleader or a pimp. Uh, say they're a pimp. Was these two uh, are pros? And um, well, I suspect they were. They they wanted to uh, uh, to come with me. So um, basically, uh, um, yeah. So anyway, and if you move on a little bit, you'll see her. She's got a hand in my pocket, just over there here. Here, here she goes, here where she tries to get into my pocket. That's it. She, at that, that point, she had a hand in my pocket. Uh, uh, she had a hand on the cash and on the card, a uh, credit card. It was a debit card. And uh, But anyway, I grabbed her hand and I said, uh, uh, you know, get off. Uh, else I'll call the uh, cops, you know. So... Now that's one uh, situation. Now I'll go to another one, a situation where you uh, basically we get into danger. And this one is in a, a bar. Now this one is an interesting video. It's the most beautiful Filipina I've ever seen, I called it. And there's 88 likes and 88 uh, unlikes. So I'm sure all you uh, trolls out there will, if you haven't hit the uh, unlike button, uh, dislike button you I'm sure you will but anyway um, bottom line is this is another situation now what occurred was I was trying to get an interview with this girl here uh, JJ was her name now I met her early in the night I come to this bar Anthony Bourdain the very famous uh, American guy from New York who's um, had a couple of TV uh, programs um, on cooking he's like the Gordon Ramsay of um, Gordon Ramsay's a, a British uh, cook, a uh, famous, um, you know, TV cook. Well, uh, Anthony Bourdain, if you haven't uh, heard of him, uh, I'm sure you have. Uh, he's the sort of equivalent 
uh, American version of uh, Gordon Ramsay, but he did a show, he did a, uh, a piece on uh, the Ore House Hotel in Malate, and this is where I am, the Ore House uh, Hotel, so I thought, oh, I want to go in and um, interview the people that run it and show, show, uh, show the inside of it and all this sort of stuff and do a story on that, you know, a video on that. And this lady is the manager, but she's not the owner. And what happened was I got there at um, about six o'clock and she said, wait until the manager comes. Um, uh, oh, that's right. I showed her my um, YouTube channel. She she looked at it and uh, on her phone, she looked at uh, a couple of videos. She's a really fantastic person, really friendly and upbeat. And uh, basically what occurred was um, she said, I can't do it. I haven't got the authority to be able to um, uh, make that call for you to do an interview in the place, right? So what occurred was she said, um, the boss will be here. The owner will be in at 10 o'clock. So I said, okay. So I said, um, so what happened was I ha had dinner. I reckon I ended up having about four beers I reckon it was about 6.30 when I got there, but uh, it was about 9 o'clock, and I thought, fuck this, I'm not going to wait any longer for this uh, guy, and he might say, nah, nah, I don't want to give an interview to you, right? So what happened was I went up to the bar, and I tried to get her to come over and she uh, and do the interview, but she wouldn't. So, you know, she stuck to her word and all this, right? So uh, this is what occurred. and But the dangerous thing was I kept trying, asking her, asking her, asking her, and then... All of a sudden, this big uh, bouncer-looking guy um, came out of nowhere, a uh, pretty muscular sort of dude, and uh, it could have got pretty nasty, you know, but, um, you know, I, I was uh, being pretty light and all that, and they, they were taking it pretty um, as a bit of a joke, right? So I'll show you what occurs. This is me being stupid. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Look at the size of that guy. Eh? <laughs> really, uh, he's not. He's not a fat guy. Uh, he's a uh, pretty muscular sort of fit guy. You can see that. But just big, 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 big bodied uh, fit guy. And uh, he could quite have possibly have just turned around, and grabbed me, and uh, it could have turned turned uh, violent. You know. So um, that's me being silly. And you know, I had. I think I had about four, maybe five beers, and uh, uh, I should have. Shouldn't have. Um, pestered the girl like that to uh, try and get an interview when she said no so uh, although I was uh, very light about it you know now the next um, thing is I walked out of the pub and uh, this could be again could have been a nasty situation I'll show you this one I had a camera uh, obviously uh, but the light when I, when I jumped out of the uh, hotel um, I had the uh, light on the uh, camera so it's a very strong light it's sort of like a a blinding, blinding light is the uh, the camera light. So um, I walked into this uh, uh, what do you call it? Like a plaza sort of thing, an eating plaza uh, of all these different uh, eateries and and nightclubs and all that, you know. So um, we'll just go back and I'll find that. The German German guy spoke to him, and he, he even said it's dangerous to do what I was doing by pointing the camera at people. So you watch this here. Uh, see that he pushed 
when I grabbed his when I grabbed his arm, uh, he pushed the camera away. He didn't like being he didn't like being uh, filmed. This guy, watch this. There you go. He pushed the camera away. See that? <laughs> he didn't like being filmed. So that could have turned uh, that could have been uh, turned nasty there. So uh, you got to be careful about pointing uh, cameras in people's faces, especially when it's when there's a light on. You know, but. What keeps me out of trouble is um, I uh, keep things light, uh, I smile and uh, joke a bit and all this sort of stuff. So as I've explained in other videos, um, in that last video, when I dealt with the uh, police uh, in Adelaide, if you're uh, light and uh, you know you originate communication, uh, you start the communication, you pretty well control the whole the whole situation, usually in most situations, unless you're dealing with a uh, psychotic or a... Uh, a drunk or something like that you know so uh, anyway that's uh, a few tips and uh, this uh, German guy I meet him he's a pretty cool dude and he says to me um, I might just pull it up you, you hear him say it just um, turn it up you might hear him He says, many people don't like that light. That's what he says, you know, this German guy. Don't like it? I'm from Israel. Okay, hello. <laughs> I wish you where, you, where, where are you from? I'm from Germany. Germany? All right, so he said, for me it's okay, but he says, for many people, they don't like that light, which is true. So you just got to be careful um, when you're, you're filming, who you're filming and all that. Um, so there's a couple of examples of, um, you know, of being, creating danger by being a little bit silly, right? So I hope uh, you get something out of that, guys, and give it a thumbs up if, if you do. Thank you very much. Catch you later.